I've had this game for about a year now. Ordinarily, I would have gotten a review out of the way. However, the developers had this brilliant idea to make it so you couldn't record gameplay footage from your device. It's their game, so of course they can do whatever the fuck they want to do on that front. That doesn't make it any less of a dumbass decision. I mean, what do they think people are going to do with this content? And beyond that, literally no other publisher slash developer has done this. Not even Big Bad Beat Saber. I digress. Me being me, a circumventing bootlegger at heart, I knew I would figure a way around this shit sooner or later. I never thought the answer would be a simple two-ingredient recipe. First, take advantage of Autica's cross-buy component and port the Quest 2 version over to PC VR. Second, play it through virtual desktop. Once I did that, the recording feature worked as intended. Tops Bluey. Now, Autica is another in an increasingly long list of VR rhythm games. On the surface, you might be tempted to call it Beat Saber with laser guns, but that just wouldn't be giving this unique beast the credit it deserves. In fact, the similarities end at the core function of slashing, or in this case, blasting symbols to the tune of the beat. While hyping up Autica, some nerd on YouTube tried to tell me that Beat Saber and Pistol Whip, Pistol Whip aren't true rhythm games. I can't recall what his reasoning was, but he sounded pretty fucking ridiculous. I will, however, say that Autica seems a tad more detail in the way of mechanics and in turn, less forgiving of mistakes. In short, it's a little tougher to master than Beat Saber. Autica has two main modes of gameplay. There's a solo mode where you can choose from a list of individual songs to play on demand and a campaign mode. Like most of these rhythm games, the bass music here is absolutely fucking insufferable. At least for an old school head like me. The whackness of the bass music made completing the campaign a real chore. Aside from the challenge and personal satisfaction, you mainly want to grind through the campaign to unlock the additional stage arenas. Unfortunately, this was made even more frustrating by the goofy-ass modifiers added to some of the campaign songs. Shit like hit the targets without looking or move your arms 500 meters while doing all this shit. Yeah, it's pretty fucking retarded. After a while, I said fuck it and decided to overcome the campaign shortcomings by tapping into the game's strongest features. Mod support. That was another reason to go PC VR because most of the mods don't even work on the Quest version. Mods enhance Autica in a number of ways. My favorite of all is a cool mod that converts your custom Beat Saber maps over to Autica maps. Now these are two very different games so the conversion isn't perfect but for most songs it works just fine. Play around with the difficulty settings and you'll usually get something that's playable, if not super fucking cool. I was surprised to find that some of my From Scratch customs that were pretty much lame on Beat Saber turned out even better as Autica maps. Autica also has a very cool built-in editor that allows you to create custom maps by adding notes and whatnot from within the headset. Like you go through the song, playing the song, and you touch the areas where you want the notes and shit to, to appear. It's pretty damn cool. That said, nothing beats being able to automatically generate a map within mere seconds. And that is exactly what the aforementioned mod accomplishes. Other mods include the ability to play custom campaigns, which I've yet to try. 
and custom arenas. The latter is the biggest reason I switched over to PC VR and virtual desktop. Custom arenas have freed me from looking at the same three boring ass maps and add to Autica's naturally trippy ambience. Now what started the back and forth between me and dude on YouTube was me asking him if Autica was a good workout game. He told me that it's a rhythm game, and if I'm looking for something fitness friendly, then I should just play something else. The nerve of this nigga, right? That led me to telling him how Beat Saber and Pistol Whip were some of the best workout games in VR. Then him retorting with a long, nerdy ass explanation about why they're not true rhythm games. Typical internet butt boy behavior. While Autica isn't as tense a workout as those two, it can work up quite a sweat. Once you get your feet under you, it's pretty much as physical as you make it. In no time, you'll be stunned and busting all kind of moves playing this shit. For example, I made custom maps of Tupac's pain and made niggas from scratch, and trust me, they are as intense as any Beat Saber maps I played to date. At the end of the day, Autica is a very solid VR rhythm game. I say it's competing with Audio Shield for my second for my second favorite of these types of games. All around is probably the better of the two, but Audio Shield's built-in auto song generator is hard to top, and by now it should be a standard for this genre. As you might expect, the Quest version plays flawlessly while the PC VR version can be a bit herky-jerky performance-wise despite offering a deeper, more enjoyable overall experience. If you're into VR rhythm games, then you owe it to yourself to give Autica a spin. Peace.